start vlogging just because this whole thing has been a whirlwind. I think I'm gonna have to do like a separate video, like a get ready with me or something like fully longer in depth to explain to you how we got here because if I'm being honest, this was <laughs> kind of an impulse purchase. Everything moved just like super fast. Um, but we are at this point where we bought a new house. Yesterday, we actually, yesterday, yeah, the 30th, we actually met with our realtor, the lender, and we signed a purchase agreement for our new house. This morning, I actually went and dropped off the earnest money. So we are en route. We, we bought the house. Um, the only way that we're not getting the house is if for some reason somebody who can afford that house comes in like full cash offer, no contingencies, because we have a contingency, we have to sell our house. So like I said, it's just so much and it all happens so fast. Um, so I have to break it down in a video for you guys, but I figured I would start vlogging because like I said, the process is just going by so fast. We signed a purchase agreement yesterday, dropped earnest money today. What we're trying to do is this weekend, like within these next couple of like days, we wanna get everything out of the house. You can already see that I started like, already packing moving stuff there's boxes all along there you just can't see because of my arm so the goal is to try to empty the house as much as possible and depersonalize because we need to have somebody come in and take pictures of the house and stage it and then they will list it on the mls website so that people can start looking at it and the goal is to try to get it live on the market like to start accepting offers by next week so not this weekend but the following weekend start having people actually like come in and tour or like accepting offers and stuff because we want to try to get this house sold as soon as possible it's a little scary because what if it doesn't sell right away we have that contingency that we have to have this house sold and closed on by the end of march which gives us time but in the like real estate world like that's kind of fast you know you have to do a fast close in like 30 days or something but at the same time if we do get offers right away um, we have to move out right away and then we're gonna have to figure out where we're gonna stay for a couple weeks um, before our house is ready if our house is ready by March 31st so it's so much it's super exciting but like I said it's all happening so fast so today I'm just packing now you can see I'm packing and getting rid of stuff I gotta go get some boxes um, drop off some things to donate and like just start clearing out the space so that's what I'm gonna be doing most of the day today I, like I said, started vlogging because I want to document this whole process because it's going by so fast. In the future, we will be having site visits. So I'll show you like the progress of the construction of the house because if I didn't mention it, it's a brand new build. Like it's not even built yet. Uh, so it's just, it's a lot, but we're so excited about this. And the only way you guys aren't seeing this is if something happened and we just didn't go through with it. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes well. February 6th if it looks like I've just been crying or stressed just because I am both of those it's just been so much between getting the house decluttered and taking off all that stuff and putting it in storage and then getting it ready yesterday we had the stager come to the house and she kind of just showed us all the things that we still needed to ideally fix which you know she did say it's not like urgent it's not like gonna make or break it but obviously these are like professionals telling you the best tips to sell your house and like i mentioned to you guys earlier or if i didn't mention to you we are contingency meaning that like we have to get our house sold in order for our new house to officially close so it's just it's not like we have the luxury of time here um and then yesterday uh, my bag was stolen from the car. We were picking up my brother's couch because he's got like a nicer couch that kind of goes with the flow of our house um, so we could stage it. So yesterday we went to pick up the couch and outside his house um, or his apartment or whatever, um, my bag was stolen, all of my stuff. So I'm sitting outside of work this morning waiting for my assistant to get here so that we can both walk in because I don't have keys to open the door. Um, and then this morning I dropped off Sammy and my mom's calling me saying that she's already feeling sick. She threw up and she has a fever. So 
it's just so much right now i feel like every time we buy a house it's so much work and it's kind of annoying when i hear stories about people i was like yeah our transaction was so smooth and everything was great and our realtor did this and our realtor is great like this has nothing to do with her she is going above and beyond and she's doing her job miraculously and the entire team is doing their job miraculously our lender is great and she's super fast to get um information from us it's just mostly like all the mechanics that go into it that is like really stressing me out because on top of that i i still have work and, and i have stuff to do and not anybody knows about the house besides our family just because i hate like prematurely saying anything and then having something fall through or whatever so today is just not a good day um and i figured i would vlog because not everything is rainbows and butterflies um, and it's incredibly stressful and like I said I hate hearing stories about like everything was so smooth and easy and we had no problems in our house which is great for them but the reality of it is us who you know people who have student debt or who don't have the luxury of having parents pay for everything people who don't have the luxury of having family give them this big like down payment who have to like save money for all of that you know it's not as easy and again it's not knocking anyone else who has that stuff um it's just that that stuff does give you a little bit more of a cushion and like privilege um because we have to just figure everything out ourselves so i'm hoping that today's just a better day today they're taking pictures of the house that's why we've been like crazy busy like staging everything um and everything's done i looked at this house this morning everything's done it looks good eric's getting like one or two last minute things from target um to just help kind of spruce it up but everything's ready to go they're gonna take pictures today i'm leaving work early to finish working from home thankfully i have that luxury where i can work from home so i can just watch sammy so i think it's gonna be a little bit of a better day it was just kind of overwhelming this morning Hello guys, it is a Sunday, Super Bowl day, February 11th, yeah, February 11th. I just got home from my mom's house. I'm actually at home dropping off some stuff. So all weekend, Friday night, yesterday night, we spent it at my mom's house. We were completely out of the house by like, oh my gosh, my lipstick looks crazy, sorry. <laughs> we were out of the house by like two o'clock on Friday um, and we just left. Um, we have like a lock box in our house. Uh, on the outside so that realtors can come in and just show the house to prospective buyers and then our realtor had open houses on Friday Saturday and today just decided it was probably for the best to go stay at my mom's house we put the kids in daycare so that we didn't have to come in and out we didn't have to pick up after ourselves or like you know if something was out of place or whatever for the open house and hopefully that was good enough we really try to clean it up and spruce it up and do as much as possible to leave it in really beautiful condition so people came to see it and hopefully that was good enough and hopefully get an offer um i know that the house was only been on the market for literally like two days it went live on friday um yeah friday or thursday night went live um and then this weekend we had open houses and a couple of showings but i'm so anxious I'm hoping that we get an offer here soon because the faster we can sell this house, the faster we can just focus on the purchase of our home and not have it be contingents anymore. It's Super Bowl Sunday, so I'm not sure if people are going to be doing offers or it's like they were just touring and then they're going to, you know, be watching the game and maybe tomorrow or later on this week or something. We'll have, you know, business and then start sending those offers in. But hopefully we get something here soon. Hello, guys. Happy Thursday. I am waiting for radio to start. That's why I'm sitting in my car. Um, but it has been a couple of days since I last spoke to you guys. So the last time we chatted was Super Bowl Sunday um, and we were just back at the house from like being at my mom's house all weekend and the house had been like toured and like we did open houses and then we were going to Super Bowl and while we were at the Super Bowl party at my mom's house we actually got a call from a realtor and there was an offer on our house um, really good offer they did offer a little bit over our asking price and they're covering closing costs so it was like the perfect offer we could have asked for they were okay with us doing a fast close because we're contingent on selling the house to get our next house so all of the boxes were checking off and we were so excited it was such a huge sigh of relief and we were kind of shocked because although we wanted it to happen exactly like that fast um i was kind of shocked because it had been on the market literally since friday 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Sunday night was, um, and Sunday night was when we got the offer. So we looked at all the details and we officially accepted the offer. And this whole week we have just been doing underwriting stuff. So today is Thursday, um, the 15th day after Valentine's day. And today actually they're doing an inspection on the house. So our realtor kind of countered, um, with a five day inspection just in case something was found on the house that we had no idea about because honestly we've tried to keep the house as clean as possible updated and everything necessary in terms of maintenance but in case they find something that we hadn't known about we can put the house back on the market and not miss this weekend because the weekend's obviously the busy time where people go look at houses um and then obviously work to figuring out all the stuff that's happening there in the worst case but in the best case scenario we can get the inspection out of the way sooner and then as soon as we're done with the inspection so as soon as they've approved it I think they get 24 48 hours after the inspection to officially say yes um, we get to tell our new development that we're past inspection and the contingency on our house is completely gone and the house is officially ours and they can't do a bump clause and like beat us out for it anymore so very exciting stuff I have to head into radio now um, we'll see hopefully everything goes good in the inspection that's like the final check I think um, before I can actually breathe and be good and if everything goes good we pass the inspection then it's just waiting till March 15th is our closing date for this house and that's it we are one step closer to our house. Hey beauties today is Wednesday February 21st it has been a couple of days I apologize that this vlog is like all over the place but it has been a couple of days since I last updated you guys Thursday they did do an inspection on the house and then they had you know a couple of like hours to decide if they wanted to move forward or not the radon testing um, that's an additional test you could do to check like the gas and stuff we weren't concerned about it because we're still living here like radon would have been really bad um like we would have probably passed out if there was radon or anything like that but radon did not come back because um it has to run a little bit longer so it didn't come back till saturday so their contingency period um inspection period ended saturday um it was a long weekend because it was president's day on monday so i don't know if their realtor wasn't working the weekend or our realtor wasn't working over the weekend or something but we didn't hear back from them till Tuesday till yesterday so all weekend we were a little bit nervous we weren't concerned because like I said we've maintained the house um we were pretty confident that there was going to be no like major issues or anything like that but obviously you're still in that kind of like oh is it a yes is it a no because they haven't officially confirmed or anything like that so we were kind of on pins and needles all weekend especially because Monday our new development sent us the removal of contingency and so what we didn't want to happen is remove it and then they end up pulling out last minute or something and then we have two mortgages and that's a whole other conversation but we finally talked to our realtor yesterday she confirmed with them everything's set to go everything is ready Ready. it's officially done there's no more like inspection periods there's no more ways that they can really get out of this I mean if they really pull out I guess they could but that's gonna cost them a lot of money and like a lawsuit and everything like that because we have a contract so it's officially done it's officially sold we have a closing date of March 15th for this house and we officially got the contingency removed on our new house and we have a closing date of March 29th there is a gap of time so there's gonna be like a two-week period where we're technically homeless we're gonna be staying with my parents in their house that's gonna be interesting because my nieces and nephews come over there a lot and then obviously my mom and dad are there i'm gonna be there our baby and then my husband that's gonna be madness for two weeks but it's official we officially purchased the other house it's ours they can't take it away or um remove the contract anymore and same with this house it's officially sold so it's just a huge sigh of relief. I feel like all of this has happened really fast, but at the same time as we're going through it, it has happened really slow because I feel like there's always like, first you gotta, you know, declutter and then you gotta put it on the market and then you have to wait X number of days, even though ours was really fast, like you have to wait a certain number of days and how long is it gonna be on the market? And what if it doesn't sell right away? And then after that, you have the inspection, rain on testing, um, there's an appraisal and everything like that. And so there's a lot of like pieces on there. And at every point you're just like, is it gonna fall through? Is it gonna work? Is it, you know, is something gonna come up? Especially because if you have been around since the first time we bought this home, our first time buying, um, when we bought this house, it ended up being like an absolute disaster. Like everything bad that could happen happened. So I feel like I had PTSD about that where I'm like, 
what is going to happen? Like, when is the rug going to be pulled from under us? And it's kind of surprising that so far, knock on wood, it's been a very smooth and quick and fast transaction. But also because it has been so fast and smooth, I feel like this is unknown territory for me. Um, but we are so excited. The next couple of days, I might vlog, I may not. Um, it's just going to be a lot of more decluttering, more getting stuff out. We got a lot of stuff out on the first round of decluttering. We do have a storage unit that we're putting everything in. Um, but now it's going to be just continuing to declutter, especially Sammy's room, um, the babies, because she's got a lot of stuff. And like for now, we didn't want to like take everything out, especially because if she needs it and stuff, but we really got to declutter her stuff. We still have a couple of like furniture pieces. We got to move. Our bedroom too was pretty intact. Um, so there's a couple things we got to get rid of there. So it's just going to be in heavy moving mode these next couple of weeks. And then there's going to be a two week period where we are essentially homeless and just staying at my mom's house. We're really fortunate that she's got like, you know, an extra room and everything like that for us. Um, so yeah, very exciting. I cannot believe we were able to pull this off. Like I said, I'm going to do a whole video, like talking in detail how it happened and all of this and all that. Cause it was actually very, very surreal. It was a whirlwind and really, really fast. I am still in shock that we were able to pull this off and that we get to have this brand new house. I'm, I'm lost for words, but everything's going great. I will talk to you guys in the end.